Hi, my name is Kunihiro. I'm a sushi chef. Today, I want to show you how to prepare salmon for sushi and sashimi. Okay, so I got this fresh salmon from fish market. It's about 20 pounds and it looks really good. As you can see, guts and scales are already removed by them. If you don't want to cut the whole salmon like this one, you can always ask them to fillet it for you. And when you cut the big fish like salmon, I recommend you to use a big and flexible knife like this one. Ok, let's cut. Uh, first, let me cut off the head. Uh, there's a color bone right here. So put your knife right next to it and cut halfway until you hit the spine. And flip the salmon. Ok, uh, so there's a color bone and put your knife right next to it and cut another halfway and disconnect I always begin with belly side uh, first uh, please cut on the skin to make a guideline it should be right above this fin and when you do this uh, please make sure your salmon is sitting straight let me cut on the skin and go a little bit deeper this time and slide your knife along with the backbones and one more time keep your knife straight and one more time now you should see backbones here I can feel it always on this side now I'm disconnecting meat from spine like this okay uh, back side now uh, I cut only skin to make a guideline it should be right above these fins and go a little bit deep and deeper now I can see the spine and this time I'm uh, cutting the connection part between meat and spine like this and slide your knife around the tail like this and cut all the way go strong and then disconnect the tail okay first fillet is done now you can see spine and backbones next step I'm removing only the spine Uh, when you do this, uh, first please enter your knife right below the spine, right here. And also please protect your left hand, always. And start cutting bones. Go strong a little bit. And when you come this far, uh, please uh, slide your knife right below this pin like this and you can remove this
and go back to where you were, but uh, angle your knife a little bit downward this time, and keep on going. Now the spine is completely removed. Uh, in this step, I'm removing belly bones. Uh, let me cut off the fin first. Uh, this has some meat on it, so you can cook it later. And when you do this, uh, please make sure to see the blade of your knife through the bones. Uh, this way you don't waste much meat. Okay, uh, let me turn it. And now let me remove the remaining backbones right here. Okay, another fillet. Uh, I'm doing the same thing to this one. Uh, first, please cut off this fin. Uh, please do not throw away. You can cook it later. You can make an opening by using the tip of your knife like this. And at this point, please make sure that you are seeing the blade of your knife through the bones. And I'm going to show you how to remove this white part later. Now you need tweezers to pull out pin bones. Let's begin with ones on the side. There are a few of them. Now ones on the top. And when you pull out pin bones, pull the bones toward the head, not toward the tail. Otherwise you are going to break the meat. Now I'm cutting fillets into pieces. Uh, first let me cut off this part to make a straight edge. Uh, but don't throw away this part, I'm making rolls with this part later. And each piece should be about 3 inches wide.
and at this point I'm removing this part of the belly. It's easier to do after you cut into pieces. Now another fillet. Okay, next step, uh, please sprinkle salt on the tray and place salmon nicely on it. And more salt. And put more salmon and more salt. And let's wait for 30 minutes to get rid of the excess water. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. And look how much water came out of the salmon. Can you see this? It's so much water. And let's wash off the salt. And when you wash fish, uh, please make sure water pressure is always low because you don't want to damage the meat. Okay, uh, I finished washing salmon and at this state, salmon is already delicious. But uh, I'm gonna add one more step by using rice vinegar. So in this step, we are soaking salmon in the vinegar. And if it's not enough, you can always add more vinegar. Make sure it's completely soaked. And I'll wait for 2 minutes in this stage. And while you wait, uh, you can flip salmon once. It's been 2 minutes and the color changes like this. This is perfect. And let me do the same to the rest of the salmon. So the reason why I used rice vinegar is that I want it to cook a little bit on the surface. Uh, this way all the goodness of the salmon is kept inside. Plus it gives nice vinegar flavor to it. After you are done with vinegar, please dry out the excess vinegar on the salmon with a dry cloth or a paper towel.
Okay, the whole process is now completed. But you have to freeze this salmon for 7 days before you make sushi with this. That's because the salmon has the possibility to carry parasites. And it takes 7 days to kill them in the freezer. Uh, so you wanna be extra careful when you eat salmon raw. But don't worry, salmon freezes really well because of its fat content. So even after once frozen, it maintains good flavor and texture. But you have to wrap all the pieces twice to avoid freeze burn. And make sure you are wrapping them tight. That's it. Mission completed. Okay, in my next video, I'm going to show you how I slice that salmon for sushi and sashimi. Thank you for watching today's video. See you next time.